I am Hans and this is my channel. Thank you guys for being here. As you can see, I've got a little project going on. I've been trying for a long time to figure out how to get the best sound out of my Amazon Echoes. And I have a couple of different ones that I use. And we've tried, you know, using these things by JBL. They work really good, except for they go to standby. So if you let it sit long enough without actually using that dot, it'll go to standby. And when you talk to it, it won't respond to you. You can't hear it respond to you because this has to wake up the speaker and then get everything going. So they work great. If you're listening to music and you just want to rock out in the house, I have about four of these in the house, but I had an idea and my idea is a little bit nuts. Let's go. We've been using these to actually get our audio off of these because the sound on these things is so terrible. And then I thought, well, let me get this one because this has an output jack, but so does this. Come to find out, all I have to do is go into the settings of this particular dot and configure it to be an output and it would output just the same as this would have. The problem with this setup is that this thing goes to standby. But I wanted to do something where we actually could have something that's always awake, always ready to go, but also sound really good. So I have an idea. Inside of these speakers, these, they have extra room. And I know that some of you sound guys out there are gonna be like, well, that extra room is so that they get the sound that they're supposed to produce. I get it, I understand that. This is an idea, this is DIY stuff right here, guys. This is groundbreaking. If you don't try something, you may not ever change the world. Like me, definitely changing the world. Let's do a little arts and crafts. Here's what I'm doing. I have this thing that I ordered on Amazon. I know that I like knob sound mini amps because I have them. I've done a review on almost all of them. I'm using this one right now, the Fuqua, which I never say right. I'm just doing this so that I can give you a quick example of what I'm trying to accomplish. Let's say that this is our mini amp and this is all I want to see. The mini amp comes back to about here, has a bunch of plugs. All these wires are just everywhere. What if we could take this and put it behind the screen here and have it flush mounted right here? So this is all that you see. And then I had an even better idea because these dots have the volume on them. What if we just saw this? Because the volume knob on this thing is on the top, there's not like a really good way to mount it into one of these speaker housings, you know, so that you can hide all the wires and still operate the knobs. And that was why I decided I was going to get this style amp. And I have three of these coming. I'm going to do this project. But for now, because I don't have them yet, I was just thinking maybe we pull off one of these speakers, see how much room we have inside. I don't need a volume switch with this one because the volume switch is on the top of this. So what if I just took this and mounted it to the top of the speaker, not mounted it on the outside, but drill a hole right here that's perfectly the same size as this. This would drop in so you could still see this little ring right here as it lights up. Maybe leave it up maybe an eighth of an inch or something so it's not super flush mounted, but you could still see that ring. Drop that in there and then still, hopefully, I could get in there and carve it out. No matter what, it's gonna work. But we just need to be able to get to these plugs. We need power. We want sound output from this going into here. And so we're gonna do an output to here. We're gonna go into the amplifier, which is gonna give tons of power to, to pump these speakers and make this thing sound amazing. Comparatively to this thing, this is gonna sound amazing. I got these speakers for free. My dad gave them to me. He got a new set and he just asked me if I wanted them and I'm like, sure. And so I had them in my shop for probably three years. We rock these things every day. I love them, they sound great. My goal here is just to be able to build something that has one plug coming out of it and something I could just 
take out on my deck and be able to have some nice music when we have friends over and then take it back inside and make it not a big deal. Because of what I have, my thought is we just put this thing in, we turn it up and so that there's no noise as far as we can. We use the volume here. This is all we see and all of these wires and all of this stuff is inside. The only thing that we have coming out of it is one power wire. We'll hook this up to our system, get everything dialed, running the way it's supposed to. We'll get this thing dialed so that it sounds really good and get all the speaker wires and everything mounted in there the way they're supposed to. And then we're gonna just close everything back up. So the only thing we're gonna see is this and something like this to plug it in. That's my crazy idea. That's what I'm gonna to try to do. Side note too, is you could do this on a smaller speaker. You could use one of the side panels or the top to do the same kind of thing. Again, I understand how speakers work and I understand that there needs to be the air inside of there. So when you put something huge inside of there, that's gonna complicate that, I'm talking about something that's like this big. And if you put this here like that, which I'm not going to, but what I was thinking is what if you put it like right here so that it's covered up and if you need to get in there and just adjust your bass or your treble or whatever, it's all right there. Plus, I think this was 200 watts, which is gonna really rock this speaker. For the first one, I'm gonna take this and just glue it inside. You can see how small this is. It's not gonna affect the way the speaker sounds by that much. Let me clean this up really quick. Ah, whoa. All right, so this is all we're gonna be using. We have the amp and we've got this dot. So these, and we've got the speaker. So this is what we're gonna be working on to get all of this to work. I've got the dot hooked up. We've got it back on the network. We've got the amp plugged into the wall and then I've got the one speaker hooked up to it. Ooh. It's working. Bluetooth mount. It's in Bluetooth mode though. Now, the thing that we have added is this. So let's go ahead and put this, plug it into there, and then we'll plug this guy into here. AUX mode. AUX mode. Well, that sounds really good. If I have this thing cranked up all the way, I can't hear anything. There's no hissing, there's no nothing coming out of that. Alexa, play royalty free music. It's gonna work. This is perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. So I've got this turned up all the way. It sounds awesome. That This is gonna work perfect. So that is our magic number. So we'll go ahead and see if I have a hole saw that is really close to that. If I have something that's a little bit under that, I'm probably gonna use that and then I'll sand it to try to get it to fit in just, I want it to be really snug. If it's not, it's really not that big a deal because I'm gonna put a bead of hot glue on the inside of the speaker to hold it in and that's gonna make it airtight. We won't have any problem with the sound. I just don't want anything on the top of it sitting out here. Like I don't wanna have a big gap right there so I'm gonna get as close as I can and we will do that right now I'm gonna hit the garage and you guys can come with me I want to put this right about in the middle of this plate up here I'm gonna flip this over I looked everywhere in my toolbox and I don't have anything that is this same circumference so I'm gonna go ahead and just trace a line and I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut that out so let's do that right now Perfect. 
actually fits in there really well. So I'm gonna take a bead of glue on the inside. We'll try to get it level and flat. Take a bead of glue on the inside, glue it in there. And then I gotta decide, actually I'm gonna flip it around so that the minus is here and the plus is here for the volume. That way the mute and the stop button are in the right place. So we'll flip that guy around. Put it in like this. And then the only other thing we have to do is worry about getting to these cords. So I'm gonna need to cut out a little section back here so we can get into those cords. Don't wanna leave that in there cause that would just rattle around and drive me crazy. Let's see how this fits. Ooh, that's close. I could probably get those things plugged in there now. I'm gonna clear it out just a little bit more since we're already here doing this. Let's uh, do the job right here. Blue actually reactivated and it stuck to the foam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna have to plug everything in kind of blind here. So I got my positive, my plus volume, negative volume, mute, facing this way, which is what I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this down in here. That's just what I was imagining. It's hard to do blind. Yeah, buddy. Okay, perfect. I can totally get to my wires. There it goes. It's tight in there for sure. It barely fit. So my other concern is venting. I'm concerned that this thing's gonna get too hot. So I was thinking I might put it on the back side here and then just drill some holes around it so it has at least some ventilation. Rather, to see if we could use those on the inside or just take those off and pull them into the inside and connect them all up inside. That would be the better way. It would be cool if somebody made some crimpers that worked. But those worked. So we just do one size smaller. And then we're just gonna be able to tap right into this, put those on the back side. We're gonna bolt them on. Bada bing, bada boom, the on off switch. That would help to heat things up, I think. So we'll let that heat up for just a minute. And then we are going to stick a little glue right here. And we're gonna stick that right up here where I drilled those holes. So we're almost there, you guys. Let's just wait for this thing to heat up enough where we can get some glue on here. There we go, man, that thing works good. Good, good. This part, we're gonna go ahead and just snip this off. Make sure you're not plugged in. And then I will drill a little hole that this will fit into. So this will come out the back. And then we'll tie a knot in this and then we'll reconnect these two wires here and should be good. Yep, that does not get much better.
It is a possibility that having this wire coming in here may cause some feedback. I don't know. We're going to find out. And this is why I'm doing this so that you guys don't have to experiment with it. If it's not going to work, you're going to know here in just a few minutes. And before we put this all back together, we should probably make sure that these things are going to turn on. Okay, the lights on the Alexa are on. Okay, see, I'm glad I did that because that was turned off up there. I'm happy. This is going to work. Let's put this foam back in. A little bit of it at least. underneath that plug that I've got down in here. Feeling good about this. Feeling good about it. Let's try this out. Do a quick test because I'm super excited to see if this worked. Plug it in. Boom, it hasn't caught on fire yet. Every, X mode. every time I plug it in, it's going to do that. AUX mode. Oh my gosh, it was so hot in the garage. I'm so glad we got that done. So it took a couple hours, but we got a hole in there and we put this in, we got the amp in, we got the power cord set up and ready to go and it works great. It did exactly what I was hoping it was gonna do. And now I can get these set up. I can have a speaker that's totally self-contained in each room. And if I wanna unplug it and take it outside, I can do that and it's easy. It's not like I have a whole bunch of gear and things that are gonna make me go, oh no, this is too much work. I'm not gonna do it. You just unplug it plug it in outside, plug it in wherever you're at. You could take all of your inside speakers and put them outside if you're having a party or something. And then you can play all of your music through your app here. And that's really cool. I have it set up to say play everywhere and it'll play whatever we're playing, whatever song we request or whatever playlist we request, we'll play it everywhere on every speaker in the house. And you can set those up to just be one room or whatever. So. There's a lot of versatility with this and that's why I wanted to go with this. These things are great because they'll daisy chain together, but they don't stay daisy chained. If one of them goes to sleep or goes to standby, it disconnects itself. And so then if you want to get it to connect again, you got to go back and hit the button and get it to connect. Um, so this is going to solve the problem and I'm stoked. So thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful at all, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button if you want to see more content like this, and you will see me in the next video. Let's go!